Okay, we got uh, Justin Epier here with Ruoff Mortgage uh, Lending. Uh, hopefully, he's a familiar face for you guys. And um, we've had some announcements, some news, some things changing. So what we want to do is make sure we bring our sphere, our clients, our people up to speed on everything that's kind of going on going on uh, in the lending industry. So with that, Justin, I'll let you uh, update us. Yeah, yeah, so we, we got a pretty big change happening here. Uh, actually, loans that are going to start being delivered uh, this spring, there's going to be a, an adjustment on interest rates for people that are over 40% debt to income, um, which is new. Uh, usually, the adjustments come from uh, loan to value, uh, mm -hmm. credit score, whether it's a condo, whether it's a single, fi you know, single family detached home you know, condos have adjustments for them. So this is the first kind of piece that they're adding in where it's, you know, if you're over a certain DTI, there's going to be an adjustment to that. Um, and oh, why, so. yeah. And, and why that's, you know, a big piece is obviously interest rates being up. Um, we've already had people get knocked out of the market because of interest rates being where they're at. Okay. And then, um, you know, home prices, right? So, being over 40 percent has become pretty normal for a lot of buyers especially millennials um you know with student loans things like that yeah. being over 40 percent is pretty normal so that that's the biggest change that's kind of rolling down the the pipeline here um as we head into the spring market so if you are over 40 percent debt to income it's going to work in your favor is what you're saying no no it's oh. actually going to work against you so the, okay. the interest rate is going to get adjusted up um for really? people over 40 percent yeah yeah i mean if you look at the statistics you know when you see someone that's over 40 percent loan to value or excuse me debt to income uh obviously foreclosures are more likely um it, so i'm i'm you know to be honest it was probably a change that was going to happen at some point but um just because of when it's happening, where interest rates are, home prices were pretty steady, even with the decline that we had at the end of last year. Um, that's a pretty big bucket of people that are going to fall into that, you know, over 40 percent debt to income. Um, OK, so duly noted, is that going for um, everybody VA conventional FHA? No, that's just conventional. Yep. That's just, just conventional. conventional. Yep. OK. And then so Fannie Mae, well, Freddie Mac. Yep. Okay. Or actually, I think it's right now it's just Fannie, but typically Freddie's going to kind of follow course at some point. Yep. Now, um, what kind? I mean, let's say someone who is under forty percent DTI is getting a seven percent, but I have over forty percent. What kind of? Uh, I mean, dramatic increase are we looking at? Uh, so obviously. Uh, probably about an eighth percent it, it'll equate to about an eighth percent difference about you know? an eighth yeah does it depend on that percentage or if you're just over 40 you're no have... i mean it just kind of depends on where the pricing of the loan lands but typically it's going to be about an eighth percent that you're going to be looking at as far as an interest rate difference yeah okay and did you see is this do you feel like this is um an experimental thing or is this a forever thing uh well i guess it'll depend on the blowback so uh, you know, I would say a lot of people that work in the, you know, in our industry that promote home ownership probably are not going to like it too much. Um, you know, especially again, where the market's at, you know, it'd be right. one thing if rates were at 3%, um, or, you know, home prices were, you know, the affordability was a little bit higher, uh, in, in the market, but I think it's at the time that it's coming. I don't think people are going to be big fans of it. Uh, right. specifically like people that are, you know, promote and are activists for home ownership. So, okay. uh, cause it, it, again, any, any type of movement, I know that seems so small, any type of movement like that can affect people's ability to buy, you know, to be in the market or out of the market, right. um, or, you know, the type of house they're going to buy that might, you know, they might look at it and go, well, you know, that's going to take us, you know, out of what we're looking for. We might wait now. So, um, you know, I, I always am a big fan of, you know, not having too, too much, too many hands in the pot as far as like right. too much going on. Um, you know, I would rather just like the market kind of work itself out. Um, this is definitely going to have an impact. I, how big or how small, I guess it's, uh, we'll see. Um, but it's definitely going to have some kind of impact for sure. Okay. 
All right. So my last question, this, and we'll wrap it up because um, this is good info. This is this is, I think, a big deal, and I think our our consumers need to know about it. Um, when looking, if someone's looking at this and they're saying, "Man, I'm getting ready to buy a house, um, and I I want to I want to know what my debt to income is," so I'm going to read off what I think is. And you tell me what I'm missing. I'm saying I'm seeing if I got to look at my car payments, probably yep. student loans. Um, uh, I guess uh, credit cards. Like any credit that? cards? Yeah, yeah. Any credit cards? Uh, so what pers- else? Personal loans, you know, that you have out there. Um, it definitely puts an emphasis on having your ducks in a row because we always kind of talk about that, right? Yeah. Definitely puts an emphasis on that, and um, you know, being more disciplined is going to help you in the long run. Right. Sp- specifically now in interest rates, um, it's not just based on your credit score; it's based on what is involved in that credit score as far as monthly right. debts. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I mean, let's let's say maybe something that is not. I mean, what about like um, cell phones, Spotify, mm-hmm. subscriptions? Is that go against your debt? Yeah, account? typically, no, nothing like that's going to be included. Um, we do look at undisclosed debts as far as like what you're paying on a monthly basis, but it's strictly going to be what's showing up on your credit score. Like you said, those credit cards, car payments, student loans, um, personal loans, anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Good deal, man. That's good info because I had not heard of any of this yet, but um, we appreciate you uh, sharing that with us. Yeah, it's been pretty silent. Uh, You'll probably start to hear more uh, March and, you know, know, middle of March, you're going to start to really hear more about it. Okay. Um, from a lot of people, but it's been out there for about a month. Uh, and really what it's based on is loans that get delivered, I believe in May of this year or actually April, excuse me. So you're looking at someone that gets in the contract, probably beginning of March, middle of March, that loan's going to get delivered to Fannie Mae. Um, right. that's, those are the people that it affects. So, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, and, and here's the thing, you know, big thing that at, the, at least on our side of things that we're looking at is, you know, income can change based on it's how it's calculated, right? You know, there's yeah. not everybody is like, I make $18 an hour and I work exactly 40 hours a week. Right. You know, you have people that if we're like, oh, well, there's, you know, there's overtime here or whatever, and, you know, incomes get adjusted down or whatever it might be based on what the loan officer uh, calculated it during the pre-approval, that can affect that, right? So it's like, if you have someone teetering on that 40%, you know, and then they, you know, say they're at 38 and, we can't, we thought we could use this over time, but now we can't. Now you fall above that 40%. So that's more on the lender side of things, but um, it definitely as a borrower, it's going to be an emphasis on having those ducks in a row, making sure, you know, if you have any outstanding credit card debt or anything like that from the holidays, getting that paid off um, yes. or at least paid down uh, is going to be a huge benefit moving forward. That's good stuff, man. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, I appreciate, hey. yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Absolutely, man. So if uh, anybody who's watching this, how can they get a hold of you? So you can reach me. Uh, I use my cell phone. So it's 513-264-2578. You can also visit our website, which is www.epurelendingteam.com. Awesome, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, dude. Have a good week. You too. See ya. See you, buddy. Bye.